Hello and welcome to my channel, Wealth and Wonders Tarot. This is a reading for Libra. Libra, this is your About Last Night reading where we take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using the Light Sears Tarot deck along with the This Might Hurt Tarot deck. And as you can see, I've already meditated, shuffled, and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position, Libra. So let's get started. So Libra, today this um, row represents you and the bottom row represents your person. Libra, you have the Page of Cups. You have the Nine of Cups. You have the Lovers. You have the World. And you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel, you know, this is a brand new situation for you, Libra, with the Page of Cups. I feel like this is a new love interest of yours. Um, you might already be in a connection. If not, um, this is just someone who you want to be in a connection with. You have the Nine of Cups, so this is the person who you really want to be with, you know. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, a new relationship, your wish fulfillment, um, hoping that you get what you want. So I feel like this is who you truly want to be with. You are really in love with this person. You do have the lover, so again, I feel like this is, um, for you, it's coming across as a deep love, a, a love that feels like a soulmate connection. This is the person you want to spend your life with. Um, you also have the world, so this is, again, the, with the two major arcana here, the lovers and the world, you're looking for a, a permanent change with this person. You're ready to settle down. You want to take your relationship to the next level. You personally are willing to give this person anything they want, willing to give them the world. And again, you have the Ace of Pentacles right here. Um, it's more of the Ace of Pentacles says, you know, you're ready to settle down. You, you're, you're ready to plant roots and build something solid, something that's going to last for a long time with this Ace of Pentacles. So, um, yeah, this is someone who you're really into, someone that you really, really um, are in love with. The bottom of your deck, Libra, you have the uh, Three of Pentacles. So this could be someone that you work with, someone that you met at work, someone that you go to school with. It could be someone that you met online. This could have started as an online connection. So let's take a look at your person. Your person has oops, the Judgment card. Your person has the Nine of Swords. Your person has the Nine of Cups. Your person has the Eight of Wands. And finally, your person has the Chariot. So I feel like your person has some worries, some anxiety issues. When I look at this Nine of Swords and this Judgment card, I feel like your person might have a past and they're worried about their past um, coming back to affect this connection with this judgment. I feel like your person thinks they're gonna, you're gonna find out about their past and judge them and maybe not wanna be with them. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting with this judgment and this, this nine of swords. So your person is very, very concerned about it um, and uh, feels like it's gonna be like a deal breaker. Um, your person has also has the nine of cups. So both you and your person have the nine of cups, which means that you want each other. So this person actually is interested in you and wants to be with you too, but your person has something that I feel again with these two cards, I, oops, if I can pick them up today, these two cards indicate that there's something that I, your person feels like is gonna come back to get them. You're gonna judge them on, um, you know, their background, their history, but they do wanna be with you also, Libra. And your person is planning on uh, contacting you. So I'm not sure if you're in contact with this person, uh, if you guys uh, fell out of contact. So, you know, we can expect a message soon coming from your person or this could simply mean that, you know, um, your person is gonna, gonna move things along a little quicker. So with this Eight of Wands and this Chariot, I do feel like that, you know, there's gonna be some a rapid change when it comes to the dynamic in this um, relationship. It's gonna start, there's gonna be movement, um, rapid, fast movement, but I feel like your person is being careful about how uh, quickly they wanna move toward you also. They want to do it, but they're being careful. Again, this is really sticking out to me. How come I can't pick up this card? This Nine of Swords in, in the Judgment is really sticking out to me, meaning that I feel like there's some sort of, there's something that your person just might be fearful of. They might be ashamed of. I feel like they have a past. 
and they feel like it's going to affect this connection, you don't know about it. And they feel like if you find out about it, you know, you're not going to want to see them again. Again, you met this person, you know, again at, at school, maybe online. Sometimes, you know, you don't know about a person as well as you think you do. At the bottom of your person's deck is the Ten of Wands. So this connection is causing a little stress again for your person. They, they don't, they're not sure if they are going to be able to carry on with this connection or, are you, gonna get, or if, you know, if it's going to work, basically. It's a burden. Um, the next card is the seven of pentacles. So I feel like your person thinks, you know, maybe they're not good enough for you. There's something about this situation. These two cards, judgment and nine of swords, where your, your person feels like there's going to be a deal breaker there, but just know your person does care about you. They do want you as well. You both got, um, you both got the nine of the nine of cups. Okay. So you both are, um, each other's wish fulfillment. You do like each other and want to be with each other. Again, I feel like this is new. This is a new connection for you, Libra. So um, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you got some clarification about what's going on with your person um, and why maybe they're a little bit nervous or standoffish or something like that. You're all in. You see this person as your soulmate. You are all in, but your person is a little bit hesitant because, again, I hate to bring these up again because they feel like they have secrets that are going to come back from their past to haunt them. And you're going to judge them based upon um, whatever it is that you find out. So good luck with the situation, Libra. Good luck. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful day.